And greetings everybody, this is Jester welcoming you to another review. And today I'm going to be reviewing the Jem'Hadar Vanguard Carrier T6. And yes, this is a, quite an interesting ship. Um, in that I, I was looking for a carrier quite a while ago and um, I thought this looked quite the part to be honest with you and so I went for it and uh, and picked it up in the C store and uh, so far it hasn't failed me I'm very impressed with it and it does look the part doesn't it it's quite menacing And when you actually look at it, I mean, against the this temporal cruiser, it's it is quite a big ship, really, isn't it? So yeah, as you can see, the outside is very well designed. I quite like it. Um, as Jem'Hadar design ships go, yes, I think this is uh, this 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 does uh, fit the bill. That's typical, isn't it? But his large bog ship is just coming above me, and it's very hard for me now to get around. That's right, go away, bog thing. Yes, crashing to the space station. Right, anyway. So, um, enough of the outside. Let's have a quick look on the inside, shall we? And here we are. Um, as you can see, it has all the comforts of home. No chairs. Um, lots of clanging. What's that clanging noise? But no wonder all these Jemadars are called Tomata Clan and What's the Matter Stan. All these noises they're hearing. Anyway, never mind. That was a very poor joke, wasn't it? Yeah, all right, well. Uh, Tell me, I'm the first. Um, where's my ready room? What? What? I don't have a ready room. I'm sure you're mistaken. I'm the first. I should have a ready room. Everybody else has a ready room. Is this a ready room? Here? No, it's not a ready room. It's a bulkhead. Oh my word. Um, crewman? Yes, uh, yes, uh, Ready room. Where's, uh, you know, I'm the first, obviously. Um, where's my ready room? I must have a ready room, surely. Yeah? Oh. Are you sure? Oh. Well, today's a good day to die. Um, actually, wrong. <laughs> wrong species. Uh, victory is life, yes, thank you. Um, ah! Starfleet. Hello, Starfleet persons. Um, Yes, you wouldn't happen to, uh, you know, show me where my ready room is, would you? You know what I mean? Um, I mean, I should have a ready room, shouldn't I? I'm a warrior, after all. Klingons have ready rooms, don't they? I should have a ready room too. But, uh, what? Jem Hadar doesn't have a ready room. That's well, I'm not happy about that. Ah, what's, what's this console? Let's have a look here. Access to library files, contact duty officers. Huh. No, this is this is not not good, is it? I mean, anyway, victory is life. And uh, ah, this must be my ready room. Oh. Ah, crewman, I just wanted to crewman. Excuse me. Where's uh, my ready? That's not ah, here we are. Uh, ready room. I'm looking for. A ah, thank you. I'm look. <laughs> oh, this is getting a bit tiresome, isn't it? I must have a ready room. Surely Klingons have a ready room. Klingons have a ready room. I'm a Jemadar warrior. I should have a ready room. Ah, I have a captured audience here. Yes, uh, hello crewman, victory is life and all that. Um, don't happen to know where, uh, you know, 
where my ready room is, do you? You know, ready room, room that I go to to, you know, well not get ready, but you know it's a ready room. Well, okay, yeah, carry on, victory's life and all that. Yeah, my word. Well, must be. Oh, I found a ready room. Have I? No, I haven't. Oh my word. So what's this? This is... Ah, select small craft. Excuse me, because you can't walk into... Actually, no, they can, because it's not a red room. Uh, yeah, victory's live. Victory's live. Yeah. And uh, what is this? Bank account. Well, you know, at least it's not a trophy cabinet, is it? Ah, there's two silly gentlemen here. Uh, it... Uh, we'll give her a ready room. <laughs> Victory's life. Oh, uh. Well, let's. Um, where do you appear from? Uh. Oh, well, this isn't good, is it? I mean, uh, I'm a Jemadar warrior. You, you know, Klingons can have uh, ready rooms. I haven't got a ready room. What's going on here? Those weakling federation uh, people, they've got ready rooms. I'm a Jemadar warrior, you'd think I'd have a ready room, wouldn't I? Anyway, this is... Uh, ah! Ready room? You know where Jemadar ready room is? Victory's life and all that. Ah! We, we, do you know where... I'm number one. I'm, I'm the first. First? Huh. Oh, oh. I mean, what's the fascination with purple as well? There's no other rooms, is there? Let's have a look round here. Thank you, crewman. Ah! A stand-up Starfleet officer. Yes, hello, uh, Handorian Starfleet person, officer type person. Um, you don't happen to have, you know, seen a ready room lying around, do you? You know, you know type of ready room which would be for a Jamadar warrior, you know, ready room type thing. You know, you know, ready room, red D room, you know, where the captains go and, you know, well, I mean, I'm not a captain, but of course I am the first, and uh, firsts must have a ready room, surely. Yeah. Well, he was a bundle of fun, wasn't he? Well, it's a, oh, right, okay. Are you sure I haven't got a ready room? Well, if it's up here. Can you get up here? Well, you can't get up there, either. Well, this isn't funny, is it? I'm a Jemadar warrior. And I don't have a ready room. And I'm the first. You'd think I should have a ready room, wouldn't you? And what's going on here? Well, I suppose the bridge is all right, you know, as far as bridges go. I mean, it'd be far better if I'd have had a ready room, you know. But I'm not holding that against anybody, really. But uh, yeah, yeah, you'd have thought that they'd given me a ready room, being a Jebediah first, wouldn't you? I bet them founders get a ready room. Yeah, I bet them founders do. Yeah. Anyway, victory's life. Victory's life. Yeah. Oh dear. Right, so, um, oh, hang on, where am I? I'm getting all dizzy now, I'm getting all carried away. Having, having not having a ready room, I'm getting all wound up now. I think I'm going to have to, uh, well, call it it for the uh, inside of this ship for now. So, let's take it outside and uh, have a bit of a go with it, shall we? Are you sure I haven't got a ready room? So here we are, ninth rule. Looks like there was a fight. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Right. Is ready to assist you. Well, thank you. Right, so off we go. Um, sure God will follow. Let's launch our fighters. Marauder class. They decloaked. Ah, right. Where are they? Ah, there we are. Right, thank you. 
Right, let's uh, see how she goes. Quite well there. Oh yes. This is quite a good dust up, isn't it? Don't hit the asteroid. Oh my word. Oh. That's, that's quite a... That was quite an interesting little dust up, wasn't it? Well, there's so. good news. Oh yes, there's always good news and bad news. Uh, shall we take the... Oh god, then we'll take the items. Okay. So, let's go over here. Right, yes, thank you. Yes, well. Does anyone ever want to be hunted by her region? I'm curious. Well, she certainly, uh. isn't letting me down on, uh. on the weapons front. I was expecting, uh. Quite a lot of hard work. These Polaron weapons are quite impressive, really. I may change my car, my whole view of Polaron beams. The nerve. Yes, yes, thank you. Right, let's, let's take some more items, shall we? All right. So in this game. Uh, Oh dear, right. Oh dear, well, you can uh, let me just have a think about that. Um, no, you can keep it. Um, oh, you can't get a word in, can you, for them? So, what I was saying um, earlier on to uh, someone who made a comment about getting ET, this kind of storyline is where you would get your EC from by picking up these free gifts these items look like that auxiliary battery going back to earth sol you can actually sell them back and make some decent EC and uh, I'd like to thank the Rose for actually pointing that out many months ago Well, I'm, I'm seriously impressed with this ship, to be honest with you. Uh, I was expecting all kinds of difficulties with her. Yes, she does bank like a bus. Um, she's certainly uh, dealing the damage, isn't she? Wow. Look at that, I've got a 27,000 hit there. Oh yes, this is... Uh, I'm quite impressed actually now. As you can see, the area is absolutely littered with free stuff. So, uh, 
yeah, if you if you're uh, short of a, a little bit of EC, then uh, that'd be a really good place to pick it up. Doing one of these patrols. I think we've actually well finished fought. it. Well yes. Oh. Thank you. Excellent. Oh, brilliant. Right. Okay. Yes. Right. Thank you. Let's go. Excellent. Okay, so um, we've done a little bit of a different uh, way of working this time. What we're going to do now is we'll have a quick look at the build. What well, we will do if I get it right. And here we are. So this particular build was a four weapons to the front and two weapons to the rear build. Uh, we had a Polaron beam array, a Polaron dual beam bank, another Polaron beam array and another Polar Polaron dual beam bank. I have the Gemadar deflector, impulse, warp and shield, the four piece set. It actually um, did it come with this ship? I can't remember now actually. Can't remember. Anyhow, anyway, well that's what I'm running anyway. They're at Mark 15. Um, what's that one? Very rare. Yeah, I think they're all very rare. Uh, in the rear, I'm running an Omni Polaron uh, beam, and I'm running an inhibiting Polaron beam array. In the devices, red matter capacitor, heavy Polaron satellite turret, and Kobayashi Maru transponder. Engineering consoles, I have the console universal linked command matrix and I'm also running the Universal Ordnance Accelerator and that's giving me a 20% mine recharge speed 20% projectile weapon damage 20% phaser direct energy weapon damage and a 20% polar on direct energy weapon damage that is part of a set actually but I um, yeah I think I've only yeah I've only got that one on I may have a look at uh, getting the other part of that so this Universal linked command matrix. What does this do? 6.5 maximum hull capacity, 2.5 critical chance with energy weapons. Summon heavy attack craft. Summon heavy attack craft to aid you in battle. Ah, that's interesting. Right. Uh, science consoles. Universal ablative hazard shielding, 5% shield resistance. Uh, universal sensor burnout. 1.5 critical chance plus 15 starship drain expertise and this little doohickey universal dominion targeting synchronizer that gives me a 2.5 critical chance with with projectile weapons strangely enough I wasn't using one and a 10% maximum shield capacity and you up in there, March 4, triggers 30 percent fire and cycle here, surround you. Right, okay, right. So we did console universal link command matrix, console universal dominion targeting synchronizer. Ah, oh, right, so actually we had a two piece set there. Didn't realize that. A two piece set. Ah. Uh, Effects friend maximum five friends, ten kilometer sphere, one percent shield penetration per ally within a ten kilo kilometer up to five maximum. Right, okay, right, I'm with you. Right, I understand. Um, moving on, console universal dominion coordination protocol. That is part of the set as well. Um, plasmonic leech. What does that do? It's coming back to that. 15% all damage bonus for 15 seconds. 60% flight turn rate for for 15 seconds. 60% flight speed for 15 seconds. 100 inertia rating for 15 seconds. Uh, immunity to confuse, placate, flight speed debuffs, and turn and turn rate from using or being affected by fleet maneuver gamma for 60 seconds, 2 minute recharge. 
I'll have to give that some study, to be honest with you. Yeah. Anyhow, I'm moving on. Um, Plasmonic Leech, which is more or less part of my regular builds now. Um, and we have four Polaron phase modulators on here. Now, I'm not in a fleet uh, with this character. To be fair, I haven't found a decent fleet yet to uh, to join. Um, so I'm, st I'm looking for uh, a decent fleet. But um, if I do get into a fleet, I shall probably take these out and put something else in. Um, in the hangar base, I have got some advanced Gemidaire Vanguard. Um, I'll, let me start again, because that sounded absolutely ridiculous. In the hangar base, I have some advanced Gemidaire Vanguard gun boats. I nearly said gun boats. Gun boats. And polar on dual beam bank, polar on beam array, polar on beam array, quantum torpedoes, beams fire at will 2, attack pattern lambda, lambda 2, evasive burst, brief increase to flight speed, turn rate, and defense, chance to initiate ramming speed when below 50% health. Wow. I've never heard that either. Uh, right, moving on to the masteries. As you can see, I've hardly had this ship out, so I haven't even got unlocked um, uh, level 5. So, uh, level 1 is a 43.2 recharge time reduction to launch in carrier pet crafts, plus 50% rank up XP for all hangar pets. Tier 2, increased maximum hull HP, plus 10%. Tier 3, is a 760.5 shield regeneration every six seconds, 5% shield re, uh, resistance. Tier 4 is plus 10% shield hit points, and tier 5, when you unlock it, uh, is stealth damage threat to hangar pets after activating the temperature bit. I've done it again, haven't I? Uh, to your hangar pets for 10 seconds, plus 5 bonus to all damage, minus 50% threat generation plus 4,000 stealth, plus 15 defense rating. Alright, so actually there is a tier 6 and it's an account wide reclaim unlock so any of my characters can actually use this. That's cool isn't it? The statistics for this ship uh, are, it's, a, it's got a hull of 105,283 Oh, that's disappointing. The resistance ratings are, are down. That's that's not very cool, is it? What if I've got Trillium D for this? Yeah, oh, gonna have to earn some Trillium D plating to help with that. But anyway, um, ah, the reason being, oh no, we are in solid space. Accuracy rating 10%. Well, you would have never, you would have never known that, would you? Given um, how well this performed in that patrol, I'm quite shocked. I think because the accuracy rating is not very good at all. The critical chance is well below my 20%, and the critical severity is definitely below my 120%, which I normally uh, go for. So, yeah, I'm quite shocked that the ship actually performed as well as it did with such low statistics. Yes, that's... Yeah, I'm going to have to work on that, definitely work on that. Right, the stations. Uh, we have... One, uh, Lieutenant Commander Tactical Station. Uh, we have... Uh, one Lieutenant Universal Station, which I put as a engineering station. We also have an Ensign Engineering Station. And we have a Commander Science Station. We also have um, another um, a Lieutenant Commander Science Stroke Intelligence Station as well. 
So we can change this around a bit and put some intelligent stuff in there. I'm a bit disappointed really. I'm wondering if I should have made that a tactical. Yeah, I think I think what I should have done is made that a tactical. Oh, uh Yeah, I think I should have made that a tactical. And had two tactical stations. Yeah, never mind. Anyhow, it, it is what it is. So I also need to uh, work on the critical chance and critical severity. But, uh, as I say, um, I haven't had this ship out a lot. I've been concentrating more on my Federation uh, characters. Um, but I think that's about to change, given uh, um, how I enjoyed that, uh, that little battle. Um, with the Ferengi. So I hope you've uh, enjoyed this review into the Jemadar Vanguard carrier. Um, I know I've had some great fun with this to be honest with you this evening. I wasn't looking forward to this because I thought yes it's going to be like a battle bus is this thing. It's not going to move. It's and um, yeah I was quite taken aback that it did quite well uh, in that patrol and I hadn't given it any um, decent critical chance or critical severity or accuracy either but she performed quite well right so if you've enjoyed this review um, and you haven't already subscribed please like and subscribe to catch further reviews and uh, I hope to see you next time so until then this is just a Signing off.